Hi there, hello everybody, good afternoon. My name is Andy from Andy's Everyday English and I am gonna be your host today representing British Summer and we're gonna talk with students abroad. Uh, today's turn is gonna be for Canada. So let's uh, invite the girls that we have for today. I have just invited them in. Let's see if we can start this. For those who don't know what uh, conversations Hi. with students are. Hi girls, just give me a second. Let's me, let me give the presentation, okay? For those who don't know what uh, talking with students abroad is, it's a project that in our agency we have created for you guys who are thinking about going abroad and well trying to uh, make your mind, made up your minds about traveling. And in this case, it's Canada's turn. Girls, thank you so much for doing this again, because uh, just to give you a heads up for those that are watching this, we tried doing this like a couple of, uh, you know, like it was like 20 minutes ago. It was lovely. It was so cool, but then it was with no audio. So we're doing it a second time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so girls, start introducing yourselves. Thank you very much. Um, uh, um, hi. My name is Maria Yongueras. Uh, I'm from Andorra and I'm an exchange student here in Canada, in Victoria, British Columbia. Mm -hmm. Daniela. Well, <laughs> hi, I'm Daniela. I'm from Spain, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And I came from, I'm here in Victoria for five months. Right? Okay. To study English. Please. Well, <laughs> well, exactly. Basically, to study English, you're you're going to regular school, right? The both yeah. of you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, before we we start and we talk about school and all those things, why don't we start talking about the things that we fear the most, which is, uh, you know, the family. Uh, which were your first impressions with the family? Uh, did you girls uh, were a little bit scared at first? Did you find it comfortable when once you arrived? Tell us about your first impressions. I think that the first days are the worst days because adapting a new family, it's quite difficult because it's not yours and they don't have the same like culture, culture and things like this. But I think it just have to be a 50 50 like you just yeah. have to open yourself and they have to adapt to you so so no, it's something I, that normally goes both ways yeah. as we were more or less talking before yes it's something that goes both ways because i mean even though they are used to getting international students at their homes uh you know adapting you are just a new person a whole human you know being with your own personalities and such so it's you know, difficult also for the family. Um, did you have the same experience, Daniela, than uh, Maria? Yes, the first days were like difficult, but then mm -hmm. like the second week, it was really good because I was yeah. like really, really good with the family and I do a lot of activities. So oh, I'm so happy that, that you girls, you know, uh, actually got the chance to uh, belong to the family, to feel as if you are part of that family. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about the activities that you do with your family. I was not stalking, I promise, but I know that somebody went like whale watching or something like yeah. that. Yes, we were. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that crazy experience. It's not with the family, like here, it's so cool. It's like with the district they have a program with international students and each month we made activities last month we went to a camp and this month was whale watching and it was really good no words yes yes you have no words i think that that is one of the greatest things about doing these programs because we in fact get to live experiences that Unless that we do something like, you know, that we're brave enough, like you girls are in this moment and, you know, say, yes, I'm doing this. I think that otherwise we would just dream about it instead of living it, right? Yeah. And with the family, I go like, walk, like take walks, like next to the sea. Mm -hmm. And with my whole sisters, I go to just, for example, have fast food and eat it just um, next to the sea 
um, like um, during during we watch the sunset and okay. it's really cool. yeah or we we just every night we watch a movie together and it's so fun yes, yes and i like the first weeks i went to vancouver okay with the family and like for four days i think mm -hmm. and it was really cool too oh and how old are your siblings i mean uh how about you mary you're talking about your sisters but how old are they um i have three sis ho sisters they are 24 22 and 18 and i have one that's seven years old <laughs> okay a sister yeah also okay yes. well this is cool uh i mean not not for anything you know it's just that uh it's something that uh, for example in your case and ella you got you know babysitter uh, a baby sister and in your case um you've got uh almost adults right like young adults are they in college mm, yeah Yes. my sisters they are in college yeah oh, that is so cool that is very nice because uh, they, they probably are a lot of fun right yeah yeah like it's great to have I well, I don't like little kids <laughs> because I'm a little child in my in Andorra so I like to have like yeah sisters but they are independent because they are big I, I they are old and they have their lives and I have mine if we have something together we make it uh girls we have a question from the audience uh this is a mom i think i it says i want this experience for my daughter but i am a little afraid she's 15 years old is she still very no. young hmm. what answer no i think not because i'm 14 so i'm younger than your yeah daughter. and i'm like here and i'm living like the best experience it's really good and, and all, like I think the good ages to come here is 15 and 14 because here like the people here it's like make friends here it's not because when you start the school like they have they don't stay in a class like they for example in science you have some some friends in socials you have another friend so when you arrive to the school uh, everyone in each subject don't have friends so i think it's right like it's good yes. to be on on well on 10th grade and 9th grade that is yeah so you girls have your opinion is that uh, you know for claudia uh, that i think that is your name that's your name claudia uh thank you for your question because you're in your opinion they should come right to canada yeah. all yeah. right okay uh, especially because I think that instead of, you know, like talking about age, I think that we should be talking about when we feel ready to do this experience. Um, because we're all different and for some people they might be ready in year 12 because that's when they feel like it, you know, and uh, or maybe as you, Daniela, that you are uh, uh, an early bird, yeah, right? You are a person who actually started very, very young, very early. Um, okay, girls, so let's conclude a little bit the aspects about the family. Again, and I'm so sorry to be repeating this, but what advice uh, would you give to the person that is actually watching this in this very moment or that will watch this video later on and feels a little bit overwhelmed about, you know, going to Canada, especially because of the family? That's one of the scariest thing, which is the family that I'm going to get, right? So what, what is your advice? Open to the family. Yes. Like, don't be afraid. Um, yeah, don't be a shy. I shy. <laughs> and don't be afraid. Just open yourself to the family and, and ask a lot. Yeah, and just like interest of them. And for example, my family here, the mom is from Filipino, Filipinas. And I just ask her a lot of things and it was nice. Like I learned a lot. And try to do activities to like have more confidence. Yeah, if they ask you to go for a walk and you don't want to, you just go just only like to know more them. Like, yeah. Exactly. I mean, to share time because obviously maybe you're not feeling like it, but once that you're at it, you're like, hey, this was probably not a bad idea after all, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's move into school. Now, um, can you tell us again the year, the schools, the school year that you are doing right now? And maybe, you know, the subjects that you're doing right now, because 
As, as I heard, they are a little bit crazy, so go ahead. Yes. I'm on 10th grade, like this year I will graduate here. Yeah. And I make marketing and food, social okay. and science. Mm -hmm. And I'm in grade nine and I made science, theater production, English and PE. Okay. Now, uh, I know that you go there, you, you go on terms. Yes, you do terms. Yeah. Uh, so let's explain a little bit that maybe every term is a little bit different. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, because the first term you have four subjects and you, this, you do this four subjects like five months and then okay. the second four new, new subjects and you like do it for five months. Okay. And uh, let's talk, for example, about this extracurricular um, uh, subjects, especially because um, we know that they are so special, but we have really no idea how special they really are. So give us an example about which subjects, when you saw them on paper, you said like, wow, this is incredible for me to even think about it. I have mechanics on the school, like just to repair cars. I have like wood mechanics, but from wood, like just to work wood. Okay. Okay. Wood that, well, I'm on that subject and I just learned how to cook and it's so, so nice. That's so lo lovely. Okay. How about you, Daniela? Yeah. As I have the same as Maria, like food or theater production yes. or biology, like marine biology and psychology yes. and there's one subject that you go walking like around the town or yeah uh, photography yeah. we have dance as a class hockey this is just subject. amazing i mean all these things that you girls are talking about i think that they're so special uh especially because i'm not saying that one you know like one system is better than the other than than the other it's just that um it's simply different and i am so happy for you girls that you're getting to experience this at least you know at this very age uh at this very young age that you girls are living right now so i think that it's amazing honestly yeah all right so um let's move on a little bit about the newest holiday the latest holiday that uh you have experienced lately can you tell us which is it Thanksgiving, yes. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, Thanksgiving is a holiday that is celebrated in Canada. Were you expecting to celebrate Thanksgiving when, before arriving there? Well, yes, because my mom told me. Yeah. But... Same. But... Okay, so it was not such a big surprise, right? Mm, no. no. Okay. okay. So since it was not such a big surprise, tell us a little about, you know, uh, the preparations. Did you help in the kitchen? Uh, did you learn how to do something traditional that only that they only do uh, during that holiday? I don't know. Tell us everything about it. They invite like a lot of friends and you eat like turkey and mashed potatoes okay. and sweet potatoes mash and mm -hmm like sauces and it's so nice and you have um crumble apple for dessert and it's so nice because like they are preparing like all like in family and yes. it's so nice to see it like that you feel like when I see like all the family preparing and they told me to help them and I help them, I feel like part of the family. I love this. I think that this is so wonderful, honestly. Do you, do you have, have you integrated like this, Daniela, with your family? Yes, like the second week I was like really good with the family because we talk yeah. a lot and it was like really, conf I have a, a lot of confidence and the same like at Thanksgiving I helped them to do a pumpkin, pumpkin pie, I think. <laughs> and, it <laughs> yeah. and how was that experience? Cool? Yes. Good. All right. Uh, girls, you have said a word that for me is key, confidence. 
sometimes we don't feel confident enough to make friends. Uh, so tell us a little bit about, you know, your experience making friends at school. Uh, have you joined any teams? Are you participating in any clubs or teams uh, that you can, you know, talk about, please? Um, we just joined to the team, uh, to the gym because we wanted to make soccer and but here they make like the sports like in winter they have one sports and for example on fall they have soccer boys yeah. soccer spring. for boys baseball and hockey and after in the spring they have soccer for girls tennis athletics so um, we just joined to the gym that is so big and they oh, are people. yeah a lot of people go there so yeah we usually like there we find like a lot of people of our class and we just talk with them all yeah. right so it's very nice and what is it that people do there for fun i mean people your age what is it that you guys do for fun we like i didn't ask that before yeah. so like we for example last week we discovered ice skating that in our gym <laughs> um an ice skating place and we go like every friday and it's so so fun because here normally here all the people skate so good because they may go hockey or ice yeah. skate and all the internationals we are like so bad yeah, yeah. <laughs> well I, we it's have normal a, right sorry daniela go ahead it's really good because we have like teenage hour like only people of 14 to, to 16 yes can go and it's really fun because you stay like with a lot of people that you know yeah and you mm -hmm. meet a lot of people yeah it's so, yeah, so I mean, fun. I, you go, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, sorry. You go downtown and mm -hmm. like here it's little where we live and you just walk like you can walk to your house and find another people walking to their houses and they just talk to you. Hi, how are you? And you just start talking and having more confidence. Do you like it that you are in a place that is not, you know, so big? Do you find it more comfortable to be around? Yeah, because it's more safer. Like, I can take the bus alone in the night and it's not going to ha have, like, nothing, nothing is going, going to happen. Yeah, you're not going to feel afraid. Yeah, and if, if, for example, I go, like, to the top of the island, I know that Daniela, for example, lives there and if it happened me something, I just can go to Daniela's house Mm hmm yeah okay that is very nice you know to have somebody that you can rely on yeah. um okay girls so we've covered family school sports holidays let's talk just about our final advice you girls know very well that some people especially those that might be watching this live session right now or those that are going to watch this session later on um maybe they are still doubtful about if going or not to Canada. So what advice could you give them uh, to kind of like make up their minds and finally say, yes, Canada is the place for me? I think if you want to go and you have like a chance, you might go because you're going to meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. have a lot of fun and learn a lot, not only English, you know, like your own. And yeah, really, really good experience that you need to live. Right? Yeah, if you can afford it, um, I will go ahead because it's, it's amazing. It's the experience of your life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Loving this. Yes. Okay, girls. So I think that as all as all good things, they have to come to an end. Uh, thank you, girls, for doing this again. And uh, I'm really grateful that you had the time uh, to do this. And uh, let's not be strangers, okay? Let's uh, maybe do something soon because I think that we've got Halloween coming up, then Christmas, right? Yeah, yeah Halloween, Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would love, you know, to learn a little bit about what's the deal there uh, during those holidays. So let's keep, let's keep in touch, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we can, sure. yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. I love that new friend. Okay, guys, so those that are watching, thank you so much. Those that will be watching this live session, thank you. And maybe Canada is the place for you. I am Andy from Andy's Everyday English, representing for the summer. And, well, that's it for today. It's a wrap. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Take care.